Hello, British Go players. This is In Song Huang, a Dan player in Europe. Uh, I'm here uh, to review one of the Pandanet European Team Go Championship games, which was played on the 23rd January 2024. It was the game uh, between Kielt from Denmark and Allison from the UK, the fourth board game. Uh, this game includes so many, you know, content. Uh, I was uh, surprised because, you know, one game normally cannot include too many <laughs> things like that. And uh, until the end, White had a chance to win, but eventually Black won this game by two and a half points. Uh, let me briefly summarize the game. There are many things to, to tell. Uh, the pattern first, here pattern and this area and this one too. The three patterns we're going to check. And there are life and death problems too that uh, no one detected this uh, until the end. Uh, like after this one, this is so clear that there is something. When I already say uh, that there is something, then it is so easy to find. I'm pretty sure that many of you can easily detect that there is something. But if no one says this during the game, you're in the sudden death spare me, then it is not possible to find. That's why you need to train your uh, life and death intuition, not only life and death reading uh, ability, uh, if you get the better intuition on the life and death part, then you can detect that, ah, black cannot touch here and endure this as like one step call. Quite a tough situation for white uh, because it's like a picnic call. Black has no big burden, but white has a big burden like that. So there was one life and death. And here as well, uh, this white group was not possible to save, but uh, white can save. Therefore, white got a chance to win this game. Okay, let's start. From the beginning. Black uses the high Chinese opening. This is a bit an old fashion. Uh, this one is possible to play and when white approaches often black attaches and jumps. Okay, that is the, the proper way nowadays. If black just plays this one then white pips and play knight move. Okay, that one pip is uh, the move come from AlphaGo. Uh, if white has one exchange then to answer here isn't really recommendable because this AB you know, would turn as pretty good exchange for white compared to the general you know, position. This is just equal result, but with this exchange, it is a bit better for white. Therefore, if black ignores and play elsewhere, then later, not right away, uh, white can enter here. And when white enters, black shouldn't play an extra move because, you know, after here to answer right away, it looks like a good exchange for white, is it? So if black just play elsewhere, and later white can enter like this to threat this black group. So in this case also this AB turns as pretty good exchange to make this black group heavier. So that's why uh, it is considered as a very good uh, option. But high approach, uh, high extension, uh, high Chinese opening black made it. Okay, possible. And just answer, then white enter the corner. So this is also an old fashioned white pips and night move and still fine with the same theory White plays here and later white enters, then white can still bother these three stones. Okay. Mm -hmm. And white played here. This one isn't really good. Uh, compared to this one, white's connection is considered as a you know, more proper option. But the reason why white plays tiger mouse is because white can go one line more. Okay. Here, in this case, black can attach and block this area clearly. But here it isn't easy to block it clearly. However, I believe that it is good for black, a bit better for black, because when white plays here, black can extend to this direction. Okay. When black extends to this direction, let's say, let's compare to this one. Uh, if black extend like this, then later white can move it with this move. This is quite annoying. Uh, when white blocks, uh, white forces black to answer, otherwise white can easily connect underneath, then that exchange already can uh, give a base uh, to white and also why can easily separate this black group. That's the reason, you know, nowadays uh, when this basic pattern comes, you guys don't connect here. You connect underneath. Is it? This is AI suggestion because if you connect then later, this can be very annoying. Okay? Black can do this right away. Black comes and then look for this and it's annoying. That's why this is better than the other one. So with the same reason, uh, this 
move is so annoying. But if I place this tiger mouse, then black Atari wants and connect, therefore this move isn't working. So this area become much solider. So this is black's advantage. But this is like, you know, this advantage that plays because white can go here. However, even if I place this one to block here right away isn't easy because white plays here and block, then white can aim this cutting point. So this is annoying. And if black goes down, white just extend to let black connect and connect. White can also cut and fight, but it's complicated. But if this happens, then because white exchanged this, it is okay for white. So black can attach, but white can use this, so it is okay for white. Um, in case black plays Hane, then still white can even extend and then extend here. Oh, don't even need to exchange, but the thing is that even if white doesn't play for this corner, this white corner is not easy to kill right away. Black should play Hane and Hane, but white blocks to do the core. Oh, white can do the core and connect. So to do this right away isn't easy, but white makes nice position, so it is also okay for white. Uh, there's one interesting life in this. Uh, case. Um, before here, white may exchange this first and then play this one to prevent the call. Then it looks white could be kind of safe, but it is not safe because black can enter and here and Atari. Okay. After Atari, connect and this is dead because it is bent forward the corner. So after this Atari, white should capture and black still connects it. Then white should be able to make the second eye in the middle. Uh, extra eye in the mid, uh, in the on the side, but if I cannot make it, uh, in general it's not easy to make it. Uh, then in case I cannot make it, then this is dead form because it is not possible to avoid uh, the bent four shape. Okay, one should be able to connect and connect and somehow should be able to attach here, but why cannot because it's uh, self attach. So if I need to capture counter capture, it is dead. Okay, that's why why shouldn't exchange this one? Just answer here. Okay. Anyway, so what I can tell is that this one is kind of disappeared. So why shouldn't do? And black shouldn't attach. Uh, this attach black uh, black play here right away. Just attach is better because white plays here. Then black gonna extend. Then we see the difference. That it is better as there's no weakness at the outside. Okay. So after here black had to go, but black didn't, and even answered in a wrong way. So if I go here, then I can say that it was a good you know, result for white. Okay. So if you update your knowledge, then you can mm, avoid or punish uh, when opponent plays in a, how to say, not updated way. But both couldn't do this time. White play here, this is big. Here, here, okay. But I think this one is so important. Uh, black has a wall. So white should come close to this wall and erase black's potential. If we just switch the color of the stones, then we can see that black can have uh, lots of potential here. But black went to the wrong direction. Uh, nowadays, uh, when you see pros games, kick and knight move is kind of disappeared. Uh, you will pr pretty rarely see this move because after kick and knight move, not jump. Kick and jump is the proper way. Uh, you should always check the ladder. If the ladder is working, black can attach here and enter the 3-3 three, three right away. Okay. This ladder, uh, ladder is this one, that ladder. Okay. We don't need to check the ladder. There are only blacks. Right? So if the ladder is working, it is quite tough to handle. Okay. That's why, why should play here? First, if you are uh, not updated your knowledge, then you don't know how you uh, you can react it. To find this move isn't easy uh, in the game, is it? Because it's like an empty triangle move. But that is the best option. Then black extend. Why need to still follow it? Then black can exchange up to here in center. So why can take the corner? But black has very nice thickness at the outside. So with that thickness, black plays this shoulder and jump or shoulder and jump. Then uh, this outside thickness is better than white's corner, so it is considered as good result for black. So black can do this right away, but black didn't. Okay. So kick and jump, remember, uh, kick and jump, not kick and knight move. Okay, black extend and white plays this one right away. That is also a bit too early. Mm. If white wants to defend the corner invasion, to play this one is better. To play this one right away, it looks a bit slow. But if black answers, then it is good for white. 
So it was good that black did an answer and then play for this area. Black can do this, or well, black can play here. And the modern idea is this. Uh, white already played Hane in connection and make this as the solid territory. The solid territory, the definition of solid territory was positive in the past. Because, you know, oh, I have a solid territory. It means that you have good territory. But nowadays, especially in the opening stage, if you make the solid territory too early, then opponent can use this kind of touching moves to make it, uh, it even more solid, which is over-concentrated. So after here, if I answers, then black plays Hane and extend, then this is over-concentrated position. Okay. So I need to play Hane, then black may come to Hane to resist it, okay. this one. In this case, it looks possible for white to handle because white can save it separately. If black doesn't like it, black can still play like this one. Then compared to the normal extension, I prefer this. I prefer this one to have those exchanges. Because when black plays here, black doesn't only play for the upper side, but for the middle as well. And white is you know, still over-concentrated because the solid territory become even solider. And that is the reason nowadays people pre prefer this start point and closer than the 3-4 the point and closer. Once opponent plays this 3-4 point and closer, then opponent can bother with these moves. Okay. When you see pros games, then they play this kind of exchanges a lot. Because that 3-4 uh, and the uh, knight move and closer is already solid. Therefore, white has no, or black has no burden to use this kind of center moves. Okay. That's why uh, nowadays, when you see pros games, this move, this move comes more often, or this one, because it opens the corner. It, uh, it opens the corner, but opponent cannot enter the corner, because if black enters the corner, it gives very nice thickness at the outside. So that is one of the biggest changes uh, after and uh, before and after AlphaGo after AI programs, because before AI programs, solid territory means positive, but nowadays it's like negative among the high level players games. So once your opponent makes this kind of solid territory, attach and make it uh, even solider, which means that you make it as over-concentrated position. So here, why covered? Why can? Okay, and Black's answer was also good. Okay, it's just okay exchange for both. I can jump, but it's a bit lukewarm to me. Uh, I wouldn't do this. Uh, instead of this one to play here, looks more proper style move. Or well, I can continue, continue moving. Okay. To play an extra move to erase yeah, is reasonable. Or because I can enter here, I don't want to do. But locally, attach and then push is a good option. Okay. Uh, people don't like to exchange like that because they believe that it gives the solid territory to opponent. But this corner isn't really solid. It is solid, but why can peep and enter, or just enter first, to look for this peep? Then it is annoying. So this peep is sent there. So if that peep is sent there, why can still bother this corner? So that's why uh, this why such an extension isn't bad. Okay. So I can do this too. But jump was a bit lukewarm. And black entered, but black shouldn't enter here. Um, there are four ways to approach to the stop one and close corner. One is just normal approach, or B, uh, which is quite often played, and C, D. And this C, D are kind of disappeared nowadays. Uh, a, B comes quite often because uh, if black plays D, uh, like actual game, white plays Hane. And when black plays here, white can cut. Cut was okay too, but white may just extend. Then black can only save the group in the corner. But you may think that, oh, only save the corner? Which is good, because white stop one and close corner, black enters and save. Okay? But then you should compare this to this one. Let's say black enters the corner and black saves it just like this. Then is it a good result for black or white? It looks okay for black. But no, uh, why is outside? This area gets solider because of this invasion. And the outcome what black can get in the corner is only six points. That isn't big uh, compared to other moves. So it is considered as a very good result for white. And here as well, there is no big difference. Okay? So instead of entering the corner, 
uh, black shouldn't do, black should approach to the side in this case. Especially in this case, side is so important. Uh, that's why black had to enter the side. So B is the move that black can enter the side to extend like that. And if I place here, then black doesn't exchange. Black just plays like this one. Then later, when black has this kind of position, black can jump. Not push to let white block, but jump. Is it? Uh, if you see this case, then you would easily jump, right? Because it's better than push. So you can exchange up to here. Then even there is a weakness and you break a lot more points than just push. But that's the reason why this C is disappeared. If you play C, your opponent gonna play this one. Then you do exactly the same thing and then, oh, or here, the same thing. Then this AB is exchanged. Okay, so please remember, if you do not update your knowledge, then you still believe that C, D are possible options, but it is not. A, B. Okay. Especially A comes quite often, because after A approach, black extend, black can still extend to look for saving and can bother this corner. So it's not really a problem, okay. especially in this distance. Okay. So uh, black, if I were black, I would have approached it here. D wasn't good. And white's cut is also okay. And after cut, black must go down. There is a go proverb that the third line being a target stone, you must go out first uh, and sacrifice. Okay? So this one is the same as the case of Tetsch and Hane to a corner. When this pattern happens, later our opponent cuts, then many people just target and let black capture. But you must go down and squeeze it. Okay? That's better. Okay? It is like about six points better. Because if you do not exchange this, and white has this extension, then uh, after capture, black can uh, hane, hane exchange to have uh, about six more points uh, than, than this one okay, that exchanges. So please remember that you should always go down. So here as well, after this one, black must go down, atari, and connect. Then black would have more chance to use this. For instance, white goes out, black push, then black has some following up moves, like Hane, Sente, or extension is Sente. But extra game, white just take Ponuki, therefore it was pretty good for white. Black Ataris, okay, and white makes the counter Atari to make the connection, that was also good. So up to here, I can say that it was a good result for white. And here, white better block. Okay. Block, black goes down, then white can use this as center, or white can use this one as center too. So white had to exchange this, but white didn't exchange it. So I don't think that it was a bad result eventually uh, to break this area. So black, white may just connect and fight. Okay. This white also doesn't look bad. Okay. Anyway, uh, after that, black block, then black is just connected. So why should just leave it? If I didn't like it, why had to extend? Uh, so black cannot easily connect. But this one is kind of connected. So why should just leave it and play elsewhere, like this one or entering like that? But why this one was a big mistake, and black cut once and then Atari. Uh, so I can see that black Atari was only two seconds. But two seconds just, you know, on a whim. Uh, black decide or Atari, but the ladder is working, so white goes out. So if I give one more chance to black, then black would find the right move, which is the cover. Is it the cap? It's like a get out. Oh, it's that easy. Is it? But if you decide your move on a win, then you may lose this kind of simple option. So that was a big mistake. So white too, why shouldn't harm it? White maybe only. Uh, thought about the ladder. Okay. That is quite typical mistake. Even among the high Q level players' games, I detect uh, lots of how to say fixed idea that people only read the ladder and don't you know, don't think about the net. But of course, net is you know considerable in many cases. Okay. Because of that, why got a chance to bring the good about? So. Eventually, why succeed? Is it why saves um, the group and even kill this group? However, it was not really a great success because why already pick the wrong subject? Okay. Black is already strong, and this group is also quite okay. So why shouldn't pick this as a topic? So to pick the right question or right subject is as important as 
uh, taking the right answer. Okay. I always say to my uh, uh, student that question is even more important than the answers. If you already picked the wrong question, then even if you make the successful result, still it is bad. So this is the case. Why bring the group out and separate an attack? Uh, Black's reaction was quite okay. And white played here in order to cut this group. But while cutting, you know, there was nothing because white already erases this. But uh, white uses that bad exchanges and only focus on cutting this group. So black, you know, white takes so many points, but black also can expect a lot of points while threatening this group. So with this attach and extension, uh, black can extend okay, then black can expect this much that any that use area, if we compare to this one, it isn't bad. So I suppose you both players uh, believe that it is a good game for white because white takes this group. But black also takes, you know, area as big as white. So I don't think that the game was bad for black. Okay. White enters, okay, uh, but better Hane first because this was sent there for both. Uh, black's extension was also sent there and got a chance to cut. But this group isn't easy to attack, is it? Okay. Why better enter the third line? When you enter opponent's area, it's better to enter the third line because then you can you know, look for taking points underneath or making eye space. But the fourth line move wasn't good, so it was not easy to handle. So why uses this one, which was great locally, is it? Oh, like Otech and Hanex, pretty good technique. But the thing that uh, Black White boss uh, Overlook was this corner. Okay? Because of these exchanges, there was a life and death uh, situation in the corner. And why quickly abandon this? But why shouldn't abandon it? Uh, why should look for saving? Uh, if I play here and connect, I don't think that it is possible to kill this kind of group. So why must uh, try to save it? But I suppose it's because why thought that what was living this game, why just give this group away? So after Black takes this one, Black was far ahead. But Black didn't notice that Black was leading. How do I know? Because Black tries this kind of stuff. If Black thought that, oh, I have enough points, then Black would have played very softly to just, you know, collect points and win, right? So Black tries this, which isn't working, so got damaged. Why well, should just go down? No problem to play Hane. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then Black played Night Move. So game is nearly over. Black is leading. Uh, but how to say, if black was behind, uh, it's a bit risky, but locally, if you don't think about outside condition, then there is a way to kill. Okay? So it is like that. When I already say that, oh, there is a way to kill, then things become much easier because you know that there is something for sure. Is it? The right move is attach, blow, and hane. Then black can connect underneath. You know, why can I cut? So why can exchange this, but black connects it? then this outside, this cutting point is the one that Y should uh, aim it. It's not clearly working, but okay, it is quite annoying. So it's better not for Black to do because Black is leading this game, but this can be a troublesome. Okay. Uh, but actual game, okay, Black didn't. Uh, white exchanges to prevent this one, but still, uh, uh, here Black should just cut to negotiate. Black doesn't need to play here to make the complicated situation. And after making this complicated situation, why, you know, try to use this, uh, but why have to attach? Why attach attaches to look for Hane or Blow, then this must be more annoying. But Black cut and nothing happened. Okay, anyway, so look at this area. Uh, when I already said that look at this area, then you know that there is something what Black can do. Okay, so you already know, okay, where should Black play? I suppose many of you can find uh, the move. This reminds me of the problem set that I made. Uh, look at this case. Okay. This is the trouble master, it is called. Uh, it is a bit different from the, the general life and death problem set because the general life and death problem sets already indicate one specific area and says that there is something you need to find. But this whole board problem set uh, includes many uh, troubles in many areas. So your intuition should detect it and find a solution. For instance, look at this area, okay? black to play. 
uh, if I say that uh, look at this area, there is something, then you already know that there is something. But if it happens in your game, like the game what we are checking, you may just push and block and okay, why is this safe? You may think like that. But there is a better option. So what's the better option? Uh, you may think that this is a good move because after this Hane, then it is like one step call. But it is not the best. The real best is this one. Black attaches here. If I block, then black can play here to kill. And if I block it, then black enters. White must throw in. Black captures, then it is just a direct call. So it is working like this. So if you already know that there is something easy, but what if no one says this? What if it happens in your game? Then you don't know. So when I review games, I review about 3,000 games uh, from the 6 down to 12 Q level. Then I see many of these kind of cases that people unnotice and just leave this kind of yummy, you know, juicy trouble. So that's why I make this uh, new concept, uh, uh, Trouble Master, what is it? The Life and Death and Tetsujin Endgame book. So you can find some more. Okay? When you look this area, it's why say obvious. So you should play just Hane and Connect and there's nothing. But no, black can peep. If black peeps, then black can look for this one, while white doesn't answer and black can cut. Like that. And here as well, this is black's territory, but maybe white can push and throw in. Then throw in, capture throw in, makes the huge call. If black avoid, white can play here, also a huge call. Like this. There are a bunch of them. Uh, like here, look at the middle. Uh, white cut, Atari, Atari, and then Atari connection? No. Therefore, why should throw in. Throw in and Atari. Throw in, black goes, and then Atari. So you can take one of them like this or like this. That's it. Okay. And there's one more case. It's a higher level. Uh, this is the hint. To find the solution of this Aerobion, you should be able to find this uh, problem or troubles. First, look at the upper right area, black to play. This is classic. I said classic that black can attach here. Then why need to connect, throw in, then there will be a call. Why cannot avoid this call like this or here? So with this attach, there will be a trouble. And look at the upper left corner as white. Can you find? Uh, it's suspicious, right? Why can't cut, connect? If I exchanges, nothing works. If I enters, nothing works. What's the general Tetsuji? It was two and one. Okay, two and one spot. And here, two and one spot is working. After this, if black ignores, then white can throw in an Atari. So black cannot connect. Okay, so black must connect. That's the only way to avoid this. I said, here then white can Atari, and white can take this one stone, so it is safe. Okay. So black need to connect, but white Atari is, then there will be a trouble. Black can endure this as co, but it must be tough. Like this. So this attach is working. Two and one, two and one. That's it. One more. Oh, where is one more two and one? Uh, here. Okay. This looks also like uh, black's territory, but it is not, because white can play two and one uh, as well. If black connects, white can throw in. So call, or you know, black tries to avoid call, no way. So black need to save it. Then there will be a weakness uh, that white can aim it, uh, that white can cut. If black attack this, then white plays this one. So can do a call. But black can jump to avoid that. Is it? That's a good Tetsuji. Then when you're uh, stuck like that, then you need to find a better move. What's the better move that white can imagine? Which is this one. Okay? Because that was black's a good move. So white plays here to look for a cut or throwing like that. Uh, the real best option must be this one to play here first okay? and then cut here first. Okay? So details is details. But anyway, this clamp uh, is the, the move that you need to find it. Okay? So two and one. So to find two and one, you check many of examples. So where is the, the right move to do something? Which is push once and here, two and one. Okay. If black does it, then in case white blocks, black can play Hane. So white cannot cut. 
So I need to endure this and it is a one step call. Okay? Not the direct call because black connects and then it is the rear call. Okay? If I try to avoid black can extend, okay? extend and enter, then why cannot do this? Because it is bent full. So I need to throw in capture. So it is also a call. Okay? So like this one. So if you already know that there is something, it is easy. But if no one says this, then it is not easy to find. Okay? That is the, the book, uh -huh, the Trouble Master, uh, Volume 1 and 2. I uh, published it uh, in the last year and this year. So if you are interested in solving this type of problem, for instance, this uh, board, there are seven troubles uh, in everywhere. So you need to detect it. And this one also includes seven. Okay. So sometimes five, sometimes only four, sometimes like 10. Uh, there are random number of uh, troubles inside. So if you're interested, then you can purchase it on the Amazon. Okay, uh, so actual game, therefore, you know, Plex this exist. And uh, even without this flag is leading by far, so game was nearly over. But when white plays here, black had to play this one. But okay, this one is fine too. White extend, and there is a way to kill. How to kill this group? Okay. Uh, this kind of situation, when the real game life and death situation comes, then often people are in hurry and try to kill a group like, ah, oh, maybe this one, maybe this one, like that. But in fact, there is the simplest way to kill. Okay. So I already gave you a hint. What does look like the simplest way to kill. Still, this one, this one, maybe you're looking for, but simplest is just block. If black blocks it, white is dead. How do I know that it is dead? Okay. This shape, it's pretty similar to this shape, okay. that shape. And this is the famous form, 222. Two, two. Okay. 222 two, two form is the dead form. So if you have this kind of intuition or knowledge, then you can easily grasp this case as, ah, it can be 222, two, two, so maybe I can just kill like this. Okay. It is that, because we need to make the separated two eyes, but just right after that, I can push, uh, cut once and play here. So this one too, like this. Okay. So the only option for white to avoid is like block, because otherwise it's the same. But if I block, I can just throw in and enter or just cut. So it's just not possible. Okay. But black thought that white is already safe. So black played here, so let white save. Uh, so after white saves this group, it's not even safe. Black can still play here. I said, uh, white should have played this one then. No, that is the right way. So A, B, or me, I. Okay. White made a mistake, so black should have played here to kill. Uh, capture and extend, like that. So both players showed many life and death mistakes. But this life and death mistake come because of that, you know, quick hand, six seconds. So if this was the life and death problem, then the black player wouldn't spend only six seconds and decide. But already, why black thought that, oh, this white could be safe, decided uh, in mind. So just, okay, decide like that. But um, if it was life and death problem. Okay? So intuition is so important. If you do not train your reading uh, life and death intuition, then you would just let opponent's group safe like this easily. Okay. After white saves this group, white chased a lot. But I still believe that black was leading. Uh, no, after this one, still black is leading because there is something. But black couldn't find it. And if black cannot find this, then I believe that white can win with this one. Okay. But white made this mistake and gave this connection. Uh, black tries this. That was nice attempt. Because without this, black cannot win. Okay. But black tries this, and black, black had a bunch of core threats. So many, many core threats. But you can, black can even make the call. But black didn't make the call, but still many core threats. Therefore, black wins this. And white uses this Atari as the, the core threat, the last core threat. But it was bad. White should play Hane to do the end game. And even after that, white captured here to let black play Hane. So eventually this game, black won by two and a half points, but it's three points end game. White takes only half point, you know, capture, but black plays three points reverse center. So what if white plays this one? White plays this, black must connect, 
then white gonna capture, then black push, center, 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 and black need to push uh, here. That's it. Then white doesn't need to play, so white just capture one of them, black connects, white connects, then the game ends. Even if black plays here, or here, don't need to answer, because, you know, black plays here, white can just answer, no problem. Then if this happens, the score estimation after the game is clearly over, this so, uh, you know, clear, you see that white wins by a half point. So white still had a chance to win this game if I played this three point end game. But white didn't, so black played here and black saved this game by two and a half points. So to summarize this game, uh, pattern mistakes come in that three corners, and it was okay for white, but white picked the wrong subject. Black should have taken this one stone, but black didn't. Therefore, white brings the group out and white succeed. But while white su uh, make the successful result, white also had to give so many points to black here. So it wasn't really a good game for white, but both misunderstood. So that's why white played very softly to give this. Uh, and black also try something black shouldn't do. Misunderstood. And here also black should just cut and take it easy, but here to make things a bit complicated. But anyway, still, black was leading by far. Even black can make a call here. But white saved it. Uh, black should have killed. Couple of chances, black missed it. So after white saves this, white uh, chased a lot and even reversed in case black cannot find this one. So white was winning, but white started. Uh, capture was bad. So black makes so many points and even makes the connection. And white uses the wrong password and capture. So black takes this and black saves the group. Okay, so to review, the game like this is quite, uh, I'd say, familiar for me because I review about 3,000 games a month, uh, a week, a year, and I have been doing this for over like 12, 13 years. And the main reason why I can uh, review so many of uh, games is because I have my online go school. Uh, American time zone and European time zone and UK people uh, for European time zone must be fit. I've been running this for uh, 14 years since 2010. And if you see the leagues, there are 12 leagues from A1 to D3. Uh, and in the league A1, you see this is similar to the EGD rating. So EGD 2600, about 16 level players to the 3 4 down. And I can see some UK players like Bruno. Uh, I think he was in the championship. Uh, he joined in order to take the UK champion title. So let's see. Uh, he's doing well. He went down the first time from the League A1, but he's playing well. So from like 6 down, 5 down to 4 down level in the A group, and then like 2, 3 down, and goes down, goes down. Some more UK people you can find. And the league D3 is about 12Q. Okay. So if you are in between 6 down to 12Q, then you can join and uh, get the game review by me like this. I review about you know, like five games uh, because you're going to play five games in a month. And one season runs for three months. So three se uh, one season uh, and three seasons a year. So if you join for one full season, then you will get like 45 game reviews and all the games will be recorded so you can watch it later. Even if you do not continue joining the membership, you can watch all your game reviews. So it will be recorded, you can view it anytime. And there are lectures uh, that I provide, like Trouble Master, like the book that I showed, and Opening Theory, some patterns and some theme lectures uh, I share, and some technical lectures too. So uh, nine lectures, 27 lectures a year, and 45 game reviews, uh, you take it. And after taking uh, one season, I share the uh, personal report. So you want to know what type of goal player you are and what part you are good at and what you are weak at. I'm sharing this through this table. Uh, there are 11 parts, five general parts and six specific part like knowledge, mind control, strategy, and so on. After one season, I check 15 of your games and share one report. And after two more seasons, 
then I share the second report, uh, the, the third season. So if you join this program for one year, then you will get 45 game reviews, and 27 lectures, and you can access to the lecture library, uh, which includes more than 300 lectures, and get two of personal goal report. So you would know uh, which type player you are and which part you need to focus on study. So if you're interested, then please uh -huh, join. Uh, it is called Yeonggu-seng Dojang. Yeonggu-seng Dojang is Insei League, uh, Insei Dojo. Okay. So I made this program because uh, I want to find people who want to study Go as serious as uh, uh, Korean Yeonggu-seng Insei. So if you want to study Go, want to get improved, or just want to discover what type of player you are, then please come to this dojang and study with me. Okay, thank you. I hope you enjoyed the review uh, and hope to see many of you in the offline or online. Bye-bye. Okay.